Man. It's been a while since I had the vlog camera in my hand. But before we get into today's video, I do want to make a quick announcement. Instead of doing this at the beginning of the video, I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. If you haven't already, subscribe, 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 because we're trying to get to 5,000 before the end of the month. If we do, big giveaway. More details on that coming on later in the month. Still trying to iron out the details, but... I just realized this entire time I did not have my camera plugged in or my microphone plugged in so audio should be better right anyway details on the giveaway coming soon working out the details on that uh, because uh, giving away some stuff especially when you're paying for it out of your own pocket is a little tough so um, subscribe hit the notification uh, alarm bell whatever it is so you can know all about all of the uh, the uploads that I'm doing during vlogmas because I'm uploading every day until Christmas so subscribe send me an email if you got any questions djwoopig at gmail.com is my email follow me on social media which is djwoopig uh, also follow Trey the intern at uh, Trey turn on Instagram for more behind the scenes content I want you to do it now instead of waiting until the end of the video because some of you guys like to skip out on what I like to say at the end. Today's video is going to be what is in my coffin um, or DJ case, controller case, whatever you call it. Uh, I use a Pioneer DDJ SZ controller. Uh, I used to use the SX2. Uh, I got the SZ for a really good deal. So that's what I've been using ever since because the SZ has the larger uh, turntable platters which work out good for my big old hands. Let's put the controller on the workbench right here and I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of what's inside the controller controller and my really kind of DJ setup that I use about 90% of the time. Let's go. In my controller uh, case, my case is by ProX. Uh, shout out to ProX if you're looking for a new uh, new influencer. I'm your guy. But anyway, case is by ProX. I'm rocking a Pioneer DDJ SZ controller, uh, MacBook Pro 4 running Serato, and then I also have a Surface, a micro Microsoft Surface. Pro 4 um, that I use to run Show Express for my lighting. Now here's another uh, pro tip or something, whatever you want to call it. Along with my Show Express computer, I also have Serato installed on it as well as Spotify just in case my MacBook goes down. The, uh, the Surface Pro is a computer. It's a full standalone computer. That's what I use as my backup. Uh, never leave home without a backup for your backup. So the reason why I went with a surface as opposed to something like an iPad uh, is because I can run Serato off of that surface whereas if my computer goes down and only thing I have was an iPad I'd be stuck using uh, an app to DJ with and that's just not something that I would like to do so I run show Express mainly for up lights and moving heads and things of that nature I can do it directly from my control surface without uh, turning around or using you know a uh, a mouse or whatever I like that it is touchscreen so I've got my programs pre-built I can just press a button and go to the next scene on my lighting software and it's right there uh, within arm's reach I don't have to move anything to change the color or scene of my lights let's dive a little bit deeper 
All right, so like I said, running a Surface 4 Pro uh, for my lighting, MacBook Pro for my Serato and music control. Right here we have the Pioneer DDJ SZ controller. Uh, I like the SZ because once again, it's got the larger uh, platters that work out well. The one thing I really like about it, it's got two microphone inputs um, so I can run two mics at one time. Generally, I have one and then I let the uh, toasters and people that are, you know, making announcements, saying prayers, whatever, I'll let them use the other one. Down here below are my two microphone units. These are the Shure BLX4R rack mountable units. I really like these, um, but th really the entire reason for me showing you this video at all is because I'm going to be deconstructing this because we're going to put some half wave antennas on these, on these microphones, uh, which is going to let me get better uh, coverage. So with half wave antennas, it's going to allow me to get better uh, reception or coverage out of these uh, microphones. Now the Shure BLX series, it's not the best, but for what uh, a lot of us do, it's more than capable. It's a lot better than some of the other options that are out there, uh, such as uh, the lower tier lines of the Shure microphones, even stuff like the GTD audio series that I, I really used to like. Um, the older versions I found work much better than the newer versions that are able to be used in the frequency change that has happened or is in the process of happening I found these microphones to work great um, but I would like to have a little bit more a um, little bit more range out of them so if we have a ceremony site and a reception site that's really close instead of having to set up a completely different system um, what I can do is just use a body pack on one of these and control it from the controller uh, adjust the volume and all that but if it's you know let's say 200 feet away I'm not really comfortable with running the stock antennas that come with it you get some half waves you get a lot better coverage out of it that prevents you from having to set up more than one thing if it's really close now if you're a, a distance away um, you need to be closer just for um, just for performance sake you want to be able to see everything that's going on uh, you want to be able to hear everything clearly you want the audience to be able to hear everything that's coming out so if you're a dis a good distance away or in a completely different room you've got to set up a separate ceremony system but if you find that you're getting uh, not so good coverage out of your current microphones going half wave antenna or uh, even paddle antennas might be the way to go I know in a lot more congested areas such as uh, downtown districts or if you're like in uh, New York City or New Jersey where it's really congested, uh, even using half wave antennas may not be enough. So um, I'm going to deconstruct this entire case, let you see what's inside of it, see how I have it packed in there, and then we're going to put some new antennas on. Underneath the brains of the operation, which is the SZ, we have two Shure BLX for our rack mount uh, microphone units we have my hard drive uh, and then everything plugs into here this is a pluggable um, seven channel USB 3.0 combiner USB combiner the one thing that I like about this is it is all seven channels are USB 3.0 and it is a AC powered uh, combiner. It's better than something like um, something like this, which it's got three, four channels on it, but it just plugs straight into the computer. I find that my stuff boots up a lot faster when I'm not using one of these, when it's powered off of the wall power. I find that it works out a lot better uh, using one of these. And generally I never have this thing maxed out. So I don't think that, uh, uh, maxing out the USB port on the computer is really an issue. We're going to take all this apart now and uh, we're going to put new antennas on here. We're going to use a combiner. These are quarter wave antennas and these just don't, they work okay. If you're out in a clear open area, they work okay. Um, but seeing how as I have all of this mounted in the case itself, I think I can get a little bit better coverage if I uh, combine the antennas one and then put some half wave antennas on. So let's, uh, let's take all this out and uh, put our new antennas on. These are quarter wave antennas. Little bitty guys, little bitty guys. It takes two of these per receiver, so there is a total of four altogether. And these are sure half wave antennas. So this is gonna give you a lot better coverage. I mean, you can tell by the just 
sheer look of them. Um, they're going to do a lot better job of getting the signal uh, further down the road. So how am I going to be replacing four of the quarter waves with two of the half waves? I'm going to be using these guys. But essentially this takes two inputs and gives you one output. So we're going to go from antenna A and B of the receivers into antenna uh, port A and B on here or one and two and then we're gonna have two outputs here so let's throw this all together and just show you what it looks like Now you could stop there and have the antennas hang out in the bottom of the case. That would be okay. But the best placement for the antennas is up out of the way uh, and have line of sight. That's always the best application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it to the back of the, the tray. There's plenty of room for me to drill a hole so I can place my pass throughs in and then my antennas will live on the back of this case here. check this out this is what they both look like with them mounted on the case and their extension cables uh, we're gonna put the laptop shelf tray in there we'll hook these cables up to the antenna combiners and then we'll put our antennas on and see what it looks like Check that out. So we've got our half wave antennas mounted to the back of the case. As you can see, they're a little bit taller. Now you might think this looks a little funky, but this is the best possible location for these antennas, especially uh, compared to where they were before, which is all the way underneath the controller. I'm gonna put the controller back in here and then uh, we'll see what the completed look looks like. So it turned out great. We've got our Half wave antennas on the back, it looks very good, very good, very sturdy, they're not going anywhere, uh, that fitting on there is cinched down pretty good. This, these two, are what we started off with. We actually started with four of these guys and we have went down to two better antennas than what we started with beforehand. I'm going to close this up so you can see how the wires look when it is all snapped up and ready to go home. But when you're done, you know, if you want to take these off, there you go. Simply just take them off and there's a perfect spot for them. You know, you might even come up with something cool uh, mounting them here. Or I think I'm just going to get a Velcro strap and, uh, and put them up here on top. This is carpet, so Velcro it down and they're not going to go anywhere. If you like to live on the wild side, you can simply just leave these in there. Put the other one in there. And you can simply just fold it down. And that's how it's going to ride home. This project really... If I wasn't filming, it probably would have taken me all of 30 minutes, max. And I spent some time uh, organizing what's down below the SZ, just so it's a lot easier to navigate when the SZ is, isn't in there. The microphones I have are super budget friendly. I just found that sometimes I wasn't getting the, uh, the coverage out of the microphone that I would like. Put the new antennas on there and there's really not going to be any problems from here on out. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's today's video. Uh, Vlogmas day, th I guess this is three now, done. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe, share, uh, hit the notification bell. And uh, I don't know what else to say because I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. That email to that auction. Okay. And like I say, if I'm uh, looking to get more stuff, I'll...
sending you a message just because I know you don't like getting phone calls. That's okay. Yeah, just uh, shoot me an email. Uh, do you do you have a do you have my email down? It's listed on uh, Facebook, isn't it? Yeah, uh, just it's uh, it's DJ Pig at gmail dot com. Just shoot me an email. Uh, I'm I'm a lot quicker to get back to those as opposed to a phone call where I got to call you back and stuff like that. Uh, Gmail, my Gmail is definitely the way to go. All right. Well, thanks a lot again, John. Yeah, no problem, man. I appreciate you. All right. Uh huh. Bye bye.